Listen up or run for cover. Bradley Bums. is dropping. So let's look at what is one of the events, Brad. Um, one of them is called Driven. 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 It, to do with the car industry? Driven 3. No, it's no. it's kind of, you know, it mainly there's all kinds of people there, but realtors, okay. uh, f- uh, financial planners, uh, mortgage lenders. Okay, good. Perfect. So the people are driven. The, driven have, to success. Yeah, you have to be driven. Good. Driven. And how long are you speaking? One hour. And what is the name of your presentation? I don't have one yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, what every every presentation, Brad, has a premise, a big idea or a central theme. So I ask my clients and I'm asking you if you had one sentence rather than an hour that represents what you're going to be saying, what would it be? One sentence. This year, because I've spoke there every year. They just keep asking me back. I don't know why. Okay, but there's got to be a big idea. The it's, big, the big idea I want to bring this you time. You can be successful when. I want people to understand yeah. that success boils down to choices. Okay, that's your premise. Yeah. Success. Your success is based on your choices. That's Period. the premise. And that's the a central. fact. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Now. If that's your premise, your talking points have to prove your premise. So every time you, you're going delivering a chunk of content, then your what I would recommend the echo or your repetitive refrain, you repeat the premise. Your success depends on your choices. So that is an echo. It's a repetitive refrain. See, these the, are those professional things that you teach people. Te- these where they do are it the techniques. They, these are the techniques. They're not things. Techniques. They are techniques. Wonderful techniques. If I could get these down, I think I'd be like one of these very sought after. Speakers. Well, according to you, Brad, you already are. That's a, you know, because because people know me in these circles, so so yes. they invite me. Like I'm not getting invited to IBM no. or Apple's or or things. Scott no. McCain or you or yeah. these other people get invited to exactly because because again they know me yeah. and they're wanting me. In other words, they don't care what I'm talking about. They just want me on stage because people seem to resonate with it in their in their little groups. However, you've noticed this whole podcast, I haven't said one cuss word. Do you know why? Number one, it's you, and I know you don't appreciate it. Number two, because I'm, I'm going to try my best to be done with profanity. Your audience would expand if you did. You can still be you. It would expand. Because there are times that, well, certainly in the corporate world that I live in, that it's very easy to offend people. And I don't think you should be so Mary Poppinsy that you, you don't get people's attention. But your message would be just as impactful without swear words. In, indeed. And it would expand your market. I, I agree. And then people would also share the message. Sometimes they don't share it because it's got some F-bombs in there. Yeah. And then I realized one thing, you, which you is... You had one realization. I had a realization. Yes. And the realization was simple. You're not going to be offended because I didn't use profanity. But you may be offended if I did. So therefore, the logical, common sense answer would be then don't use profanity. Because you can't be offended that I didn't. No one's going to walk out and be like, I came here because he was going to use F-bombs and he didn't. I want my money back. They might expect some F-bombs because people have, you know, no, even use Gary Vee as an example. Mm. You get him, he's using F-bombs. Mm. Um, however, I'm going to not. I've made that conscious decision. Congratulations. Why, thank you. You 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 you're gonna be proud of me soon and, <laughs> and and one day you will say, I coached him. <laughs> right now you're saying, Don't tell anyone I coached you. <laughs> and you didn't really coach me, you kind of just gave me some pointers. Yes. And I didn't listen to them all only because there was no repetition. 
there was no accountability and that's how you actually learn. So yes. she exposed me to some techniques, but had I actually trained with you in person and or online in your virtual training system, I would be a far more technically gifted speaker. Mm.